Okay, this is just a uh, quick look at the uh, software end of uh, what I was showing in that last video, just to prove that it wasn't uh, a sequence playing off the uh, Sox's internal sequencer. Um, just show you uh, Ableton quickly. This is notice the yellow light there. The uh, Jomox is sending the uh, MIDI timecode, which. Uh, uh, Max is uh, syncing in with via rewire and if I uh, open Max back up you can see I've uh, just programmed a simple uh, patch to come up with a uh, random scale with uh, however many notes I want in it. It's a eight note scale, I've got something uh, pentatonic and uh, yeah, so th this allows me to uh, control my analog 303 copy with uh, all the accuracy and uh, algorithmic uh, benefits that uh, Max MSP can bring. Uh, including some uh, interesting uh, slide modes. Thanks to uh, Brian Castro's excellent uh, mod board for the Zox box. If we um, have a quick look at the uh, sub patcher that uh, controls sending out the uh, MIDI bytecode to the um, custom uh, MIDI DAC, you can see I've included an option to uh, print debug stuff. Uh, if we look at this, this is just uh, the MIDI DAC sending back. Uh, messages to tell Max that it's received its uh, requests. It's useful for debug purposes. Yeah. If I uh, take this out of presentation mode, you can see that uh, it is actually um, regular MIDI bytecode that's being sent from MIDI format into the MIDI DAC. Gotcha.